everyone, it's Vanessa. Today I wanted to do a short video of true crime recommendations of podcasts and books. I think this will also be good if you are a true crime reader for Nonfiction November because there are some good nonfiction books in here you can consider. So let's start with podcasts. Uh, maybe a month ago I just devoured so many true crime podcasts and it wasn't really something that I typically did. I would keep up with one or two podcasts but this I listen to like seven or more. One that really immersed me is In the Dark and this is by APM Reports. It's an investigative public broadcast podcast that looks into different cases every season and they have two seasons out so far. The first season looks into a missing persons case that had been 27 years unsolved until new findings came out during the course of the podcast in the first season and what they found was that there was big failure from the sheriff's office in how to investigate this case that was very local and then said they went very national and that really hurt their case. The second season it was my favorite and that was about Curtis Flowers who had been tried and convicted six times in Mississippi for the death of four people. It focuses on every time that he's tried to appeal and also focuses on a lot of evidence that hasn't been allowed in court. It also looks into witnesses and informants that have lied and also it looks into the DA and the community's perspective on all of this. And they did so many cool things as journalists there to uncover new information that hadn't been known prior. Another podcast that I have been loving and that has finished by now is Dr. Death that's created by the same people as as Dirty John and I think it has the same style in um, the production value. It's very very well produced and hosted. It's pretty dark and I wouldn't recommend it to people who are queasy about things like that. It focuses on a surgeon who wasn't just having bad luck and having some malpractice issues. He was actually like a horrible surgeon. It allows the victims to be able to discuss what they recall and what they went through and it gives justice to the victims too because of the way that it all culminates and ends. It also focuses on the institutions that allowed this to happen and how hospitals give each other cover to not look into cases like this where you know this doctor has a lot of problems and you're getting a lot of bad feedback about him. Another podcast that I zoomed through is Uncover Escaping Nexium, and this was really interesting to me after I read the New York Times story about Nexium and kind of like why they were being probed by the FBI. Um, it's just a fascinating story that reminds me a little bit of Scientology, I think, in a way, because of half the multi-level marketing aspects of it and then half kind of like how it strains family ties and you feel like you're kind of in a new cult. And it, it is a first-person podcast, so the journalist focuses on just one person who escaped Nexium, and she was pretty high up on the ladder, how she came to it, and then why why she decided to leave it. I don't know, I'm, I'm really interested in cults and I don't know if I would classify this as a cult, but some of the things that they did were very cult-like. Another podcast that I would recommend is Septic and this is by the Roanoke Times, I wanna say. It's a tragic story about a child's death in a septic tank and it's how the community really turned on the mom and saw the mother as a negligent mother. The two hosts really focus the story on trying to be more complex and to think about this from all perspectives and to also um, be as compassionate as possible for all people involved because a life was lost here and it's not like the mother was happy that this occurred. It, it was just very emotional and heartbreaking but I think really well done. And the last podcast that I want to recommend is a thrilling one and this is the Pope's Long Con. I think it's Louisville Public Radio that did this one. This congressman who uh, was a preacher turned politician and kind of like all the lies that he told to get to the place that he was now, all of the reckless weird things that he would say when he was at the pulpit, and also a sexual assault allegation made against him by a minor. And it's just a very fascinating, multifaceted story of this very strange man that I think fits the moment in time that we are in politics and how bombastic and pompous he is. The ending is just like, wow. It feels like it has to be fiction from 
the twists and turns that this podcast has. It also doesn't help that the podcasts are really short episodes and I listen to all of it in like a day. Um, so very, very good. As for books, I want to recommend a few that you've probably heard from me before, but I think it's just good for new people to hear and for me to rehash books that I've loved. These all have true crime bents on them because I really do enjoy reading true crime books um, and the majority of these I did listen to on audiobook. The first one I want to talk about is A False Report, which is probably still in the running as my favorite book of the year that I've read in 2018 and it focuses on Marie who lives in Washington state and reported that she was raped then because of pressure from police and the people that were around her, her family and friends, she recanted and was charged with false reporting. And then Marie's story is tied to some things that are happening in the Denver suburbs with a serial rapist on the loose, two women investigators who are trying to figure out what's going on in the Denver suburbs and then find a connection between that and Marie in Washington state. This is a story about believing survivors. This is a story about investigating rape properly. This is a story about the mindset of people like this out in our world um, and this is also the story about the historical president that has allowed rapists to just prowl and be out um, without really being charged for their crimes in this country. Another book that does deal with uh, rape and sexual assault is violated but this mostly focuses on campus sexual assault on Baylor's campus. It's well reported by investigative journalists and looks at how basically every facet of Baylor failed women and survivors including coaches, administrative staff, the president of Baylor, and um, investigators and police. Another book that I want to mention is Columbine and in that same vein A Mother's Reckoning. These are books that have to do with the Columbine massacre. The first one, Columbine Columbine takes into account years before and then 10 and plus years after the fact so it's a very wide in scope book and it focuses on the victims and the victims families and telling the story from their perspective um, of how this could have happened and then how they lived and healed after the fact and the second book A Mother's Reckoning focuses on Sue Klebold who is the mother of one of the murderers and how she has focused her life on making sure that we are looking into our children's brain health and how they're doing mentally and to squash this myth that everybody knows who the next school shooters are going to be. Um, they can very well hide how they actually feel inside. And probably one of my favorite books ever, I'll leave you with that one, is Ghetto Side by Joe Levy. This is a story about what happens when we actually have investigators and detectives that care about clearance rates and we focus on this one detective Skaggs and how cunning he is to solve this case. And it's a very micro look at how important that is. You're telling the community that you do actually care about bringing people to justice and you build trust in that way by clearing cases. This is an amazing book because of how Jill Levy reports it. Um, she's a very very skilled writer and it takes so many different people into account. Victims, the detectives and police, the witnesses on the street that they're trying to get to talk to them um, and so many more people as well. So that is what I have to recommend to you true crime wise. If any of these sound interesting to you let me know in the comments. Have you read any of these? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.